Well, hello! I am so excited to be back here with you guys. It has been so long since I have sat down and filmed a video. So thrilled to be back, you guys. I know I was gone for a while. Having two kids, Davis was gone for like a month. Um, we just had a really crazy time in our lives, and I had Madison like right before the holidays, so all of that was just insane. But I finally have some help. I can sit down and get back into a routine of filming for you. I do not believe YouTube has died. I feel like I've seen so many of my friends and just other people saying like, oh, everyone wants short form videos. But when it comes down to nitty gritty, I feel like people love YouTube more. At least a, pe a lot of people on my Instagram, a lot of people that watch me in general, we all gravitate more towards YouTube. And I've even been watching more YouTube. Like when I wind down at night, get the kids to bed, that's like my TV now starting all over again like maybe I can't watch it during the day like I used to but now I have my moments where like I can watch it during the evening and you know I just love YouTube and until nobody really cares about it anymore I will be here <laughs> I've been posting vlogs so if you don't follow me on my vlog channel I highly recommend that you do vlogs are a little bit easier for me but they're still a little bit of a struggle because I edit them and have to film them and like I have vlogs right now that are like stacked there ready to be edited and I'm like I'm coming Anywho, today we're gonna dive in. I'm gonna just like chit chat, talk through things with you guys. I'm gonna try a lot of new makeup. I, have, I set out a lot of stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna get to. So first things first, I'm coming back with a mess up. I don't even know how that happened. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. That's what happens when I try to self tan in our half bath that has like moody lighting. You know, it doesn't have like great lighting because Madison still is in our room. So I've just been um, self tanning in our half bath, and honestly, you can tell. There's that, but um, I actually just did a full TikTok on like my full coverage face routine. If you guys want to go follow me there, it's KCHL91, pretty much that on everything. Um, and you can see all the products I used. I am going to use the foundation and the primer today, but I'm going to try out a couple other things with you guys. I'm going to do a current favorites for you guys too. I don't know if that'll be it before or after this one. But stay tuned. And then another thing that I want to do is a Sephora recommendations video and then maybe even a what I'm buying at Sephora. Would you guys want to see what I'm buying before I buy it or would you want to see it in like a haul? The only thing about hauls is they're never here on time. So I'm like, do I wait for the sale or do I just buy it? So one of my new favorite primers, I think you guys saw this before I was gone. This is the Laura Mercier. It's going to be so hard to see because it's a light um, product. It's a light bottle, but it's the Pure Canvas Primer and this is the Blurring Primer. I have been loving this. I got this, I remember, because I think I did a whole haul and I was like, Stephanie made me buy this, this, this. Literally, she made me buy this and I absolutely love it. So, don't mind my hands. They're so dry, you guys. We're having to get a water softener and everything. It's like a whole ordeal. But I love this primer because it really is so blurring. Sorry, I'm using this as my mirror because I don't know where my mirror is. I have oily skin. I can really spread it out on my cheeks because it helps mattify and keep everything nice and smooth. But I love it for pores. Like, it really does fill in those pores. And then on top of that, I have been using this NARS light reflecting foundation this is so freaking good my favorite brush to apply this has been the morphe m6 i've been really enjoying it as well as the it cosmetics flat top buffing brush that one's like a go-to i'm going to just pump this out we're not doing that right now and then i kind of just stamp it all over to make it nice and quick and then blend it out and it really gives good coverage and i do like to press around my cheeks and my nose like all of those problem areas and this just gives amazing coverage. Wow, I missed like this whole section of my face. Good thing I grabbed a mirror because we would have been <laughs> not looking so good. Now for concealer, I have been using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and I've been loving it. But today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I don't think I've ever tried this. And when I was in Ulta, I believe, I saw it and I was like, let me try that. I don't think I've tried it out. Maybe I have. I don't remember but this is in the shade 1.5 w but i'm gonna oh that's light i'm gonna apply this and just see what kind of coverage we get it seems a little sheer like just applying it right then but i'm gonna take my foundation brush and just press it in oh yeah that's kind of sheer i mean it's brightening for sure but um, not bad like you can see the before and the after but not obsessed but i also since we did that i do want to try the maybelline instant age rewind on my other eye does anybody else feel like this when they see this concealer but you look at it and it's just fascinating i don't know like i love seeing people apply their concealer with this because i love the sponge i don't remember how i feel about this it's been years since i have tried this guy 
So this is in light pale. It's probably going to be way too light for me. But if this doesn't work out either, we'll just go back to our Too Faced. Wow, that's a lot. I don't know if I broke the product or what, but let's see. What does this look like? Because you know over the years they improve formulas, so I'm curious. That actually looks pretty dang good so far. It's not bad. I like it a little bit more than Laura Mercier. They kind of have the same feel, but I still like the Too Faced one better, like just right off the bat. I think the Too Faced one is a little bit more smoothing. It has more coverage than both of those, but we'll kind of play with that in a second. I'm going in with the KBD modern liquid gel contour i bought these i think i tried one once i can't remember how i felt about it but we're gonna try this again it's kvd instead of kat von d i have the hardest time remembering that like if i'm talking about her products or see talking about the products because they're no longer associated with her but we're just gonna see i'm gonna take light medium neutral seven and it's just like a gel contour now i have tried the Concealer from her and I did not like it. I keep saying her. you see what I mean. I'm gonna go a little bit higher than normal Because tiktok told me to oh, that's right. I, I Remember why I don't really like it Because <laughs> I did try it and I wasn't a huge fan. I do feel like it kind of moves your foundation Because I can see like right in here where it looks like it moved it a little bit and I just don't like that. But it does give like a good definition. I just, I don't know. I feel like you definitely have to go back in with your foundation brush and kind of touch it up a bit. I don't know. Let me try again on this side. A cooling product and a little bit goes a long way as you guys saw. So I'm just, like I like to press stuff because I don't want to chance my makeup moving. So like, this side turned out better. That looks way better. And it doesn't look like it moved anything, but over here it kind of did. <sighs> Alright. This side looks nice. This side I could do without, you know? I could do without her a little bit. Don't mind my hair. I haven't done it yet. I was going to do like a little TikTok for it, but I have not done it yet. So, okay, we're going to take this and do our forehead, nose, everywhere else. And I'm going to speed this up so we can kind of move through it. It's one of those products where it's not consistent enough for me to be like, yes, go get it. You know what I mean? So I'm going to keep trying it out and see if I like it. I don't know. I think it's cool, but it just isn't. No. Now I'm going to go in and actually I want to try this blush. This is a Bite Beauty Daycation Whipped Blush with Papaya Extract in the shade Coconut Rum. And oh, I remember this one. This is this, the one that you have to like do this with. Um, I don't know if I'm oh, I don't think I liked these if I'm being honest because I think I tried these with you guys uh, Do I try it again? Yes, we tried again. This is like a random brush set. This is like a doja cat Brush set with BH. Yeah, like nothing Where is it? I'm gonna apply it to this side because I have no choice, but I yeah, I can't stand these. Since the blush didn't work out, we're just going to go ahead and set. And I am going to use a different product today. This is Minted Skin Silk in Light Tan. If I'm being honest, I have no idea where I purchased this. I'm going to guess Ulta. <laughs> I don't remember where I got this from. But uh, it looks nice. The color looks really good. This one's light tan, like I said. I'm going to take my regular It Cosmetics Airbrush Essential Bronzer brush. And I'm just going to set everything. Feels really lightweight. Okay, not bad at all. I'm gonna take this Juvia's Place palette in bronzed medium, it's the bronzer palette. I'm just gonna bronze up my skin. I feel like, remember when like no, what was it, blindfolded makeup challenge was happening? And you like couldn't see what you were doing? I actually did really good on that challenge and people were like, oh, this is fake. It wasn't, I was just really good at that challenge. <laughs> I do say so myself, but I feel like I could do it again and like do a really good job at it because you know You just know your face and where you apply stuff like sometimes I apply things on my eyes closed because I'm just like Zonked out or I'm just like feeling it, you know, 
All right, now I'm gonna go in with this Pat McGrath. I think this is a holiday palette, Divine Blush and Glow. I, I kinda wanna go into, I don't know, I really love the pop of pink. I really love a rosy cheek right now, but I love a good bronzy look. I'm gonna go with the bronzy one. Kinda like a bronzy rose, I guess. Oh, hold on, I have like this thing on here. Definitely more rosy, I feel like, than it looks in the pan, but if I'm not careful, I will put this literally everywhere. I really like the formula of that. It's so smooth. Like, I don't think you can really tell how smooth it is, but it is incredibly smooth. All right, I like that. And then I'm gonna take the highlighter in this palette. I have high hopes, because this looks gorgeous. This looks like absolutely stunning. I mean, that is just, that is just so pretty. This is, and the formula is so good too. Like it doesn't make your pores stand out so much. I'm gonna just apply this like everywhere. Now, I don't know if I just, I wanna do like a light eye and I don't know if I wanna go in with this palette because I kind of feel like I wanna do a dramatic eye with this one. I think I wanna go in with that or the khaki palette. I got this khaki palette from Huda Beauty. I might do that. This shade right here. Mix it with this one too. I'm going to toss that in my crease. I'm using one of those Jaclyn brushes from the holidays. I really like this brush. It's so soft and it just moves really well. Okay, now I'm going in and I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this. I'm going to go in with the green first. Let's go in with the green. I'm so curious, you guys. So I was looking at Sephora like building um, my cart for the sale coming up. And I'm so curious if any of you, if there's like a ton of stuff that like you're interested in makeup wise. Cause I always go to the what's new page. I never go to like the foundation section or like the concealer section, but I feel like I need to just to kind of see if there's anything I'm missing, you know? All right, now I'm going in with this shade, which looks a little bit deeper. And a pencil brush. This is another Morphe brush, Morphe M431. I'm gonna focus it right in here. I kind of feel like I might need a black to get the effect I'm looking for. I'm just kind of rubbing it along the lash line and in the outer V. I mean, I kind of deepened it up a little bit. I don't like when there's palettes like this and then like the darker shades are all pretty much the same tone darkness wise I guess that that makes sense like one's not darker than the other because half the time I want to do like a an, like a gradient effect or something and you can't do it because all the darker colors are like the same I'm gonna go in with I kind of want to do one of the greens so you have this one that's like a lighter green gold and then this one that's like a green I'm gonna start with the green one first and I'm gonna put that kind of like right here in the center Fading it to the darker color. I love that color. I'm actually gonna just drag it a little bit farther in the crease because take this one and put it in the inner, like more in the inner corner. Wow, these are so pretty together. I don't think you can really tell the difference, but these are shimmery. Like I've got. <gasps> Okay, shimmer all over my face. Let's hope that this fallout goes away. I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, eyeliner. I don't know if I'm gonna do a wing liner. We'll see what my hand decides. <laughs> I'll just do that. I'm not gonna do a wing today. No, don't do a wing. You know when you start small and it gets big? All right, good. Okay, now we're going to, I'm actually gonna do this off camera. I'm gonna apply the Kristen. Kristen is what the lashes look like. I'll leave them linked down below. They're really good. I'm also gonna do my brows. Okay, I have no, I like look at the viewfinder. I'm like, who is that? <laughs> So I've got my lashes on, I've got the brows on, and now we're gonna like just wrap up this look. So the one thing I wanna do is take the highlighter out of this trio from Pat McGrath, and I want to highlight my brow bone with it. And the inner corner. Oh yeah, that is just so pretty. I'm actually gonna take this brown. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Pencil, and I'm gonna put this on my lower waterline. Just so it's not like black, because we have so much green and stuff going on. We're going to go in with the darkest color we used. So I'm going to take this one right here, push it up against the lower lash line. Pretty sure I told you guys, like I'm super into Outlander. And Outlander came back out 
but I'm like saving all of my episodes because I haven't really had time to watch it. So I've been like avoiding their Instagram post <laughs> and all of that, like trying to not see what's happening because I'm like saving them up. I'm like getting them all together and Davis can't watch it right now. So like he hasn't watched any of the episodes. I mean, he probably watched a couple, but he's not like invested. And I'm like, no, you have to be invested. Like you're, you can't watch this new season without knowing the first five seasons and I watched all the seasons like immediately when he was deployed last year so instead I've got him watching Inventing Anna I watched it when he was gone and I've got him watching that now which it's just interesting to me we also also we also watched Tindler Swindler and what else did we watch I think that's it for now for both of us but um He's enjoying inventing Anna right now. So we'll see what he thinks here in the end. Cause I like watch it and I'm like looking over at him seeing what he thinks the entire time. So I have these new Makeup by Mario lipsticks, but I also want to try, we'll do Makeup by Mario. That's what we'll do. We're, we're not even gonna, you know, change it up. Now let's use Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in the shade Muted Pink. Yeah, I love this color. This is like a go-to color for me. And I've got a few different shades here. I don't know which one I'm going to take. I think that one for like the inner highlight. Which one do I use? I think I'm going to use Kate. And then we'll use Sierra in the middle. So that one was Kate. And then we're going to take Sierra. I love the packaging of these two. I think they're so pretty. Okay, so that is the makeup look. I'm gonna go ahead and go do my hair really quickly and then wrap this video up for you guys so you can see the full effects. I just wrapped up my hair, added some oil. I've been using this Bioionic wand. I will leave a link for it down below. It is so, so, so good. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so excited to be back on the beauty channel talking all things beauty and just everything. I'm really pumped to be back with you guys. So let me know down below what you guys want to see. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and yeah, I will see you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>